Welcome back to the channel. It is Saturday morning. It is about 10, well, nearly 11 o'clock in the morning, and it's vlog time. Welcome to the vlog. Uh, so, what have I been doing? I've not done a video since Monday. It's been a pretty busy week. Uh, mostly college stuff I've been doing. Uh, I'm getting near the end of my course here. It's uh, going to wrap up in about three weeks' time. There's three weeks left of college. Uh, we finish up on the 15th of June. That's the end of term. That's the end of my year of college. And just got a few last things to get finished off. The end of some units to get done. And once that's all done, once I've passed all the assessments involved, that's it. I'm done. And that's me for the summer. And hopefully it will be the marks that I've got will be good enough to get me into university. I've got a position offered, I've got a course offered at Edinburgh University, a really good school, going to do a master's degree in ancient and medieval history, uh, which really sounds unusual, but it's something I'm really interested in, it's something I've got a passion for, so that's what I'm going to go do, hopefully, fingers are crossed, if I can get these grades, it is a conditional offer, I do need to get set grades within the course that I'm doing, and if I get them, then I'm off then brilliant, 1st of September, that's me in starting as a university student. Uh, mature student, I'll be starting university at an age of 38, uh, but that doesn't bother me, I don't mind being the old man on campus, uh, surrounded by all you young kids, um, that's not going to bother me at all, you'll just see me walking around with my big clouds of ape. Uh, so that's pretty much where my focus has been this week. I've not really had a chance to do any videos. I've not even got out to fly the drone in the good weather. It's just been focused on getting through these these units, getting these assessments finished off, just so I can get the course all wrapped up and done and be ready just to wind down for the summer. Uh, Work-wise, work has been pretty quiet. It's also winding down for the summer as well. My work is related to the football schedule. Uh, I'm not going to go into too many details, but uh, we're going into the off-season just now, so uh, soccer for those of you in the States, uh, but what I do is connected to that, and because uh, the season is coming to an end, or pretty much coming to an end, then uh, work dies down over the summer. I'm still going to have work, I'm still going to be working on stuff, but it's not going to be anywhere near as busy as it has been throughout the season. So the summer's going to be a lot of sort of downtime for me, which is really good. Uh, means I can do, get a lot more focus on the channel, I can get some time to recover from this year. It has been a very hard year for me. Uh, I started this job a year ago. I uh, started college for the first time in August. I've never gone to college before. This is my first experience of college. Uh, I went straight from high school into work. I never actually did the further education thing. So this year has been hard. It's been a hell of an experience. I've really enjoyed myself and I've learned a lot. I feel I've grown as a person and I've started the YouTube as well. This has all come about in the, part, in the past 12 months. It's been a very, very hectic 12 months for me and I've learned a lot and I feel I've developed a lot. Uh, so the summer's going to be a lot of downtime and I can get a lot more focus on the channels here. Because I've not just got this channel now, I've started my other channel, which is my weight loss channel. There'll be a link at the end of the video if you want to go check that out. There's not a lot on there at the moment. It is a case, it is a weekly video that I'm doing on there. I'm not doing a full uh, daily vlog or anything there. It's just a weekly progress on my weight loss journey. Uh, but if you want to go check that out, there's a link in the description. There'll be a link at the end of the video as well. Okay, so what have I been vaping this week? Let's jump into that. So I've been vaping on the Avenger, full review for that was already done, the batteries are actually on charge at the moment for that one, so I'm not going to bring that over, but you've seen that one before. Uh, mech mods, I've been, when I've been in the house I've been using my mech mods, so I've got the little black one that came in uh, a week or so ago, uh, I've got that, and I've got my dead rabbit on there, and I'm quite liking this combination, got a nice uh, red, sort of red and black resin drip tip on this, and I am quite liking this little combo, it's a nice little feel. Um, the knurling on this is a bit weird, it does feel a bit odd in the hand, but I really like the button on here, it's a magnetic button. Uh, 
and that just works really good. Uh, I've also been using my Rogue Aliens, so that's this one with the nice design on it, nice sort of silvery look. But what I put the loop on here, and it, it looks really snug. It, there's no sort of overhang or underhang at all. It looks pretty good. I kind of wish I got the stainless steel version of that because it would sit nicer. But this is a nice combo that I'm finding. And the loop, when I did the review on the loop, I did say this would be a lot better as a dripping RDA than a squonking RDA because it does sort of overflow because of the low airflow. But as a, as a dripping RDA, it's brilliant. And I'm liking this little combination here. It's a, it's a really good little combo. you got the mech mod which delivers and feels, this, I do like this mech, it's a nice heavy mech, feels really good in my hand. And the flavour that you get off the loop because of the airflow, because of the way the airflow goes, it's a really good flavour delivery. It's not, it's not really an epic cloud chase, but it's a good flavour delivery that's going on. So I've been using that quite a bit. These are the ones I'm using sort of in the house quite a lot. Uh, don't really take the mechs out with me very much. It's very rare that I'll take a mech out with me. Uh, just because of the inconvenience of it. Plus, if you're carrying a mech around, you've got to take all, into consideration all the battery safety issues. Uh, so, mechs I tend to keep in the house and use them just when I'm chilling out, watching TV or uh, playing a game or whatever I'm doing. I'll tend to use the Mac, although the one that I've mainly been using pretty much since it came in on Monday, uh, no surprises here, it's the Pulse 80. Uh, and I've got this topped with the Pulse 24, I've got a nice sort of green resin drip dip on there, which matches up very nicely with the resin panels on this. I've been using this, I put a second build in, the, in here, I wanted to get a higher resistance in there, so I'm actually running it at 0.42 ohms. So it's quite a high, a quite a higher resistance to what I normally put in these. Uh, normally I'm down at about 0 0.2, 0 0.18, but I thought I wanted to put something with a higher resistance, so I had some 0 0.85 Claptons that were kicking around, so I popped them in, and coming out at 0 0.42, I've got it at 51 watts at the moment, and. It's just brilliant, hitting like a train, and I'm really, really enjoying this device. In fact, I'm going to do a quick um, first impressions on this, because I've been using it pretty much for a week, well, all week now, about five days I've been running this. I've uh, had to play around with it, I've tried different builds on it, i put a couple of different uh, RDAs on it, but I keep coming back to the pulse on it. So, let's have a quick vape, and I'll give you a quick rundown on what I'm thinking of this so far. So I've been using it for about five days now, pretty much solidly since I got it in. I've got a few wee pros and cons that I've come across with it. Uh, pros wise, feels really good, feels well made, it's nice and light, fits snugly in my hand but I've got quite big hands. Uh, and it's light, it doesn't feel heavy, uh, the weight you actually feel from this is coming mostly from the RDA uh, and the battery obviously. But overall it feels really, really light and it feels feels well put together, it feels well manufactured. Uh, I've got a little bit of movement on the panels, you can hear that there, a little bit more. But you really have to force it to get that, it's not going to happen all the time. So the panels are a little bit, a little bit like fractionally, uh, not snug in there, but they're fine. Uh, the squonk bottle initially was a bit tight to squonk on, uh, but as I've juiced it up, as I've started using it, it's loosened up quite a bit. It's not quite as squidgy and soft as the original Pulse, but then uh, it's got the new system at the top, the anti-leak system, which means that it is a bit of a tighter squeeze, but it's still very, very good. Um, and speaking of the anti-leak, I've not had any leakage from it. Every time I refill though, I have used the provided refill bottle. You see I've got this loaded up at the minute. Uh, and it's really, really easy to do. You just, uh, I would do it on camera, but I've actually got a full juice bottle here, so I can't really do it. But you just pop your RDA off. Oh, actually, I'll run through the process. So you pop your RDA off, put that to the side. Take the top bit off the bottle, so there we go. 
so this unscrews and then what you've got in there is a 510 connector can you see that uh, 510 connector a little bit of juice coming out there with a hole in it and you just screw that in now the way you do this is you screw it in this way up so they're nice and tight then you flip the device so you've got all your air in your squonk bottle at this end and you just squeeze it so all the air then goes down into the, squonk, the refill bottle flip it over squeeze this and it refills the squonk bottle with juice and you end up with the air up here and usually when I've done this even from an empty bottle it's only you've only got to do that once or twice and that's it filled and the only sort of leakage I get is a slight little bit when you're doing the change there so you can see little drips sort of on both there and that's it that's the only sort of leakage that I'm getting at all pop your RDA back on and you're good to go so it's really really simple it really really helps and I'm enjoying it it's a good little device and this is really useful I've tried this out on my other squonk mods just to see if it works and yeah it does work and you can even even use this to empty a squonk bottle so uh, I've put the Athena to the side for the time being so but I had about half uh, the juice bottle filled so I did it in reverse squeeze the air and then and it works you can totally empty a squonk bottle using that so this bottle absolutely brilliant so if I if you're gonna get one of these I do recommend paying that little little bit extra to get that bottle with it or you can get them separately anyway so that's always good and one thing I've noticed anytime you take the RDA off uh, it will ask you if it's a new coil and reset the wattage to 40 so you do have to change that back up but that's all good I've tried the um, the curves set settings on it where you can set the wattage to go up through a curve uh, it works fine I've not tried temperature control because I've not got any coils to try temperature control with but I'm not a big temp control user so it's not not something I've ever really got into I've tried it on a few mods I'm not a fan so I've not tried that but overall I'm really really liking this device it's my first proper regulated squonker so that could be part of it but this is definitely the way to go and this is definitely a good device on my opinion but this isn't the full review as yet I've got loads more to actually check with this I've got to go through more menu settings try a couple more RDAs on it and just give it a bit more of a test but my initial impressions on this are it is a good device and so far I'm really enjoying it so uh, that's pretty much it for the preview review first impressions on the Pulse 80 uh, this is going to be a device that I'm going to keep coming back to I don't see this coming out of my collection for a very long time uh, so that's it for that so that's going to pretty much wrap us up uh, rest of the weekend for me is going to be watching Grand Prix. It's the Monaco Grand Prix this weekend. Qualifying is going to be on very soon, so I'm going to go away and watch that. Uh, then there's the CrossFit Games and qualifier. The regionals for the CrossFit Games are going on this weekend as well. It's the second week of that. So I'm going to be watching that as well uh, because that's uh, all in the sort of US and South America this week. Uh, that doesn't kick off till about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so... I'm uh, going to be watching that, but that runs for about 12 hours, so I'll be watching that all the way into the night. And then, uh, that's pretty much it for my weekend. Going to be the same again tomorrow with the race and then that. And working on my essays the whole way through. So, that wraps us up. Uh, all the usual good stuff. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Go follow me on the Twitter. That's the at one purple mongoose. And, as ever... Vape on.